been working with a bunch of freshmen with the Keystone program to help them get their community service hours in and my Construction Academy students have been working alongside them to do a few different projects out here at the School Forest. We're rebuilding a bridge over kind of a low swampy area and then we're building a platform out on the edge of the swamp so that they can do some more educational lessons about the vegetation in the swamps. Well, we're uh, continuing construction on a boardwalk down there to replace the old bridge uh, made of railroad ties. They're old, getting degraded, it's unsafe. So we're building a nice platform over them for people to walk on. We have the ninth graders over here helping us move stuff around. We got pontoons down in the over there, um, building a platform for people to walk on. But we got a lot going on down here and we're getting a lot done in a short time frame, which is really good to see. Um, it's a little cold, but everyone's being really productive. Everything's working out really so good. Why don't we break up maybe construction kids? You can each go to a corner and then we'll have a few of the freshmen go with you. The Keystone teachers were looking for ways to help the ninth grade students um, get their service project hours that they need as ninth graders. So the whole purpose with Keystone is they kind of model the projects and skills that the students will have to do in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. So their idea was, what if we could help them get their service project hours together with some big project? And I was very grateful that they reached out to the school for us to see if we needed any work done out here. Put your foot up this end. Yeah. The boardwalk has made a lot of progress. It was like not there and all mildewy and you couldn't walk there. Well, the boardwalk that they're replacing, I think that was first built in uh, maybe early 90s. And it was a trail that um, I haven't been able to take students on since I have been working here for the past 12 years because the boards had rotted, nails were sticking out, it just wasn't a safe environment. And then on top of that, in this bog area, all this tag alder is growing up in there. So where are we at, like 30 years later, you know, that's being rebuilt and it'll be a place now that we can take the students to. This is my first time out here, so yeah, it's been great. Um, I like being out in the woods and get to work with some friends, be productive and get stuff done. We have one group who is working on fencing in uh, this area that we've been also trying to develop for a few years. It's uh, going to be a pollinator garden. One of our classes at the high school, our Northland Academy students are working to put up uh, apiaries and hopefully maybe produce honey in the next couple of years. So we had these gardens uh, for our bees when we get them uh, for pollination and we started them last year. We had a senior work on establishing those. Well, the deer came in and cleared everything out. So that fence around that area will be big. We've had a couple other trails that were just really overgrown and were kind of like an obstacle course for students and those are opened up again. Like I said, the work that's being done out here in three days, really incredible. It was really awesome. Honestly, it's just a really nice experience to be able to help out in the forest too for like the younger um, students too because as um, oh, a friend of mine said that it was all like messed up, like you could barely walk on it, but now you're able to like walk smoothly because it's now being like freshly built again. And so that's really nice to do. This is the first time we've done anything like this, certainly on this scale out here. Um, Lori has had you know, smaller groups work on little projects out here, um, but this is the first time we've brought such a big group and tackled such big projects. And the, the partnership with the Construction Academy and the Tech Ed Department has been great. I really hope that there's you know, some things that we can do and sort of repeat this experience with different projects in the future. And I'd love to be able to bring next year's ninth graders out too, if, if Lori will let us. The funding for this came from Coal Foundation in Wisconsin. Um, we wouldn't have been able to do it without that money. So uh, I want to thank them for that too. It's been a dream to get this done for 10 years. So here we go. I think it's awesome to be able to get out here and do some projects here that are contributing to the school district and are going to be a lasting impact. We're walking around this morning just looking around going, all right, well, we're going to get this done this year, but you know, there's, there's other opportunities that are going to be out here. So we're going to be definitely looking to come back and, and do some more every year.